Uh, so we've been having a problem with my buddy Kurt's Volkswagen here. And he was experiencing problems with any time he gave it gas, it was stuttering and stalling. And we thought it was a bunch of problems, like it wasn't getting enough fuel, wasn't getting enough air somewhere, or maybe the camshaft was even worn down. But also idling completely fine. Yeah, also idling completely fine. Um, he took it to the mechanic and he cleaned out the, uh, the intake um, and idled a little better, but the problem was still there. And the mechanic sort of thought it was the camshaft, which I didn't totally agree with just because the problem happened very suddenly and there was no pop or anything like a lifter would have broken or anything like that. And so we did a little snooping and what we figured out um, by like reading a bunch of forum posts on tdiclub.com, we, uh, we ended up figuring out that the while it was running, this little anti-shutter valve here, which is supposed to stay in the closed position, and basically what it is, it's a, a little valve that uh, when you turn off your key, it starves air to the intake. So when you turn your key off, it goes like that, shuts all the air off in your intake here, and your engine stops running. Um, and so what actually helps this valve to work is what's behind here. And I can't remember the exact name, but it's, uh, it's something like an air intake changeover valve. Um, or a, a air manifold changeover valve or something along those lines, you can look it up. Um, but basically this is what's on his car right now. We switched another one from a good working TDI in it and it cured the problem instantly. So we know it's this one. Um, and I'm not sure where it failed, but it kind of sits down in here right above the EGR cooler and the uh, the intake manifold. So it's kind of warm and stuff in there. It's kind of a weird spot for this to chill. Just kind of clips into this little hose clampy thing here. But um, yeah, so anyways, if you're having problems with your Volkswagen stuttering under gas, uh, but it's idling fine. Um, and I'll show you, show you where the anti-shutter valve for his was sticking. So this is it fully open and this is it fully closed and while his car is running it's basically sitting right here it's just barely almost closed and then when he gives it gas i'm assuming maybe it makes a little bit more vacuum and it would probably start to shake back and forth or just close a little bit or just be closed enough so you're starving it with from enough air that it won't go into higher rpms and uh we'll do a quick video of it running right now just to show you uh what it looks like bad and what it looks like good here's the bad unit and I'll, uh, I'll video this anti-shutter valve and you can see what it does upon startup and operation. Get it, eh? So, that's where it's sitting right now. That's where it's supposed to sit. And uh, Kurt, you want to get a little bit of gas? So that's with the anti-shutter valve and as soon as I open it, go so there's your problem thanks for helping Brent but you gotta go to work <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of man love Always. <laughs> yeah come here I want one of these <laughs> thanks buddy see you later see so old Curdy's gonna start her up with the uh, the working unit right here and we'll show you what happens with this anti shutter valve so right now it's fully open. Ready? Ready. And it stays open. Thanks, bud. So, if you're having that problem, that's your solution. <laughs> it's so sweet, dude. Did you turn off? Oh, yeah. Keep your stick on the ice, eh? Yeah, don't uh, take uh, snow from strangers.